हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अशो प्रताप सिंह वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल कोड का डी सो मेनली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी हैव इंप्लीमेंटेड दिस चैट एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग गिफ्टेड चैट एंड पी एम पैकेज ओके एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव यूज फायर बेस एंड इन दैट वी हैव यूज फायर स्टोर टू स्टोर दिस मैसेजेस एंड चैट ओके सो विल सी लाइक वॉट आर द फीचर्स वी हैव इन दिस uh application okay so you can see here i'm having this notification that i got this message from uh someone okay uh maybe you can see here that there is a icon uh or the user image that is hermione so we got uh the same notification from her so let's click on this so once we click on this then we'll get all the uh messages from uh the particular user okay so here you can see i have logged in so first of all i'll show you like who is that user so this is the hermione and this is the harry potter okay and if i click on this then i'll got messages from hermione and if i click here then i'll got all the messages from harry okay so also uh, we have implemented one of the feature like here you can see i'm having this url of the image so if i'll send some url of image then it will also show the preview of the that particular image okay and one more feature uh, like if i'll type something then other user will get notified using the bubbles uh, like someone is typing okay like this and if i click on send then uh, that will get turned off okay and uh, also like if i'm not on the screen okay and then if i'll send some message okay then also we'll get push notification uh using our node js backend so here you can see i got the message so i got a message from hermione uh hi test so if i click here then i'll get uh same notification uh here so like this just click on this so it will be look like this only okay so that's how uh things works around this okay and let's come back and we'll go on through the uh, different uh, part of the code okay so the first thing uh, you need to have this firebase okay firebase we have already seen like how firebase work like we have seen with uh, notification we have done messaging uh, or the authentication then uh, in this video we have introduced a fire store database okay where uh, we are storing the document form of uh, data like here you can see users so whatever the user signed in so we have three user right now like harry hermione and ron okay so this is the ron okay and also we are storing their fcm token to send the notification then this conversation uh is uh contains all the messages okay like all the messages and all the details of who is typing on who is not typing and uh, what was the last message and the participant of that particular conversation then uh like the message is seen by whom okay like two of the users let, let's say this is hermione and this is the harry potter then uh, right now it's false it means uh the message uh shouldn't be shown uh to be uh notification uh like uh, that we have already seen the same manner okay so that's how things work here so and in, in terms of rules if i talk about so right now this is a testing application so we haven't configured uh rules here so all the uh, rules are true right now but you have to configure on your own according to your need but uh, it is just for learning the things that's why we have uh, done this okay so the first thing uh, you need to have uh, this configuration of uh, firebase okay and then uh, also uh, if you want to know a few more things then there is gemini then here you can ask for everything like how to add like let's search for how to add a fire store in react native if i'll search okay so you can see i'm having this uh wrong uh word okay this should be fire store but it's still maybe it will search so let's wait so yeah here you can see i got all the details like what are the library we are using so this is the same thing uh we are using okay so here you can see i got uh this thing uh, like this like how to get the data and all okay so let's see how we can work 
so the first thing you have to have this configuration that firebase.tsx okay and you have to add all the things you'll get all these things uh, here itself if i click on this icon then the, under this project settings you'll get all the information okay and then uh, we have uh, this configuration and these two things like db and auth this is going to be used everywhere so if i'll go uh, to the app dot esx so here you can see uh, i'm having uh, these things imported like uh, from the firebase uh, fire store we have these things and uh, from the configuration file we have this db okay so let's see first this sign up page okay so we have already the, uh, did this sign up but the thing we have added here this is add doc so we have added a doc after sign up uh, we have added this doc uh, with, which contains this id name and the avatar okay and uh, once the that has been added then you can see here we have already gone through this let's close this first then you can see here this uh users so uh, users will be look like this so that's the same thing uh, we have added okay now after adding the user uh we uh, got the same user okay so on auth state change okay so we had a query of this users and the basis of this user we are adding uh, this user detail okay and then fsim token is going to be added under that particular user so this is the update query so you can see here this fsim token so on the basis of this token only i'm sending uh, the notification okay so that's how uh, this is also working then i'm having this friend list so right now everything is a conditional uh, basis okay so there is a typo also so just ignore this okay uh, so yeah uh, everything is on the basis of conditional rendering so here you can see i'm having this component and uh, if i have selected some uh, friend or maybe the user so from here if i'm selecting this user then this code is going to be returned so this is not a good practice but now uh, it's okay okay uh, but in future video we'll see like how we can uh, use stack navigation uh, in our react native application okay so here also uh, we have some logic of uh, getting the conversation and uh, the users okay so the users are simple if i'll click on here and these are the users and to get the conversation like is typing uh, the, the last message and all so we have fetched all the details of this conversation okay like this then using that conversation detail i'm just getting the same conversation and uh showing result on the basis of its typing or unseen messages okay that's all this thing work uh let's click on this chat so this is the module i was talking about gifted chat so basically this is controlling everything if this is typing is true then we are getting that bubble uh type of notification okay and this show up with our test like should we need to show uh the user's uh, image also here if, if i'll show here so if this is not going to be passed then this image of that uh, current user is not going to be visible okay and on input change uh, basically we are updating uh, the data uh, on that is typing so is typing contains two ids okay if i'll close this so open this one then open this one so here you can see is typing is typing contains two of the users who are talking to each other so whoever is uh, typing is going to be uh, true okay and for the other user will show the same variable okay and this is how this work and after having this blur we are just making that same uh, user id as a false okay and also uh, we have this most important thing and um, that is sending a message so if there is a conversation id so let's uh, discuss this conversation id how this conversation built uh, so whenever we are on this uh, page so it creates a conversation okay so like here you can see i'm just trying to find out a conversation which uh, contains this participants okay and if that exists it means we have already a conversation otherwise create a new so that's how uh, we have built these conversations okay 
that contain participant and uh, as a the current user and the uh, friend selected okay and the typing we have already discussed like uh, both the typing uh, both the users typing has been updated here and then last message is the, the first time this will be null okay whenever the conversation has is been added okay now uh, to get all the messages we have this so uh, you can see here this collection this query from where on snapshot like if you are going to have a web socket type of thing like continuously if uh, something someone is uh, typing and you want to have data then this on snapshot will work so this all the things will be included from firebase firestore you can see we don't have any backend right now okay so yeah uh, that's how things work i'll uh, provide the uh, github url of the same code you can also go on through the same okay and if needed then we will create a, a depth video of this firebase and uh, and all okay uh, but uh, for now you have to do the things on your own but you'll get all the things uh, from uh, this react native project okay so hope you uh, like the video and then please hit like and subscribe to our channel thank you